Hey guys, good morning. Good morning, good evening, whatever time it is for you. Uh, another day, another video, and uh, we're gonna continue here with uh, our 74. It's white today. It changes its mind every day. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's white. <laughs> anyway, so today uh, the paint is dry. Like in the last video, you know, we painted with trim clad interior and bottom of the car. It's dry now. It's nice and dry. So now we can start seam sealing all over the place, wherever we think it needs seam seal. And uh, once it's dry, we're gonna paint probably tomorrow the boot and the engine bay with the base color, probably also the um, door jams. And of course the bottom of the bonnet and, uh, and the boot lid. Yesterday I already started, let me show you here. Uh, I already started cleaning the inside of the fenders because they are in a good shape. But for example, this one has, I haven't touched yet. It still has residues of uh, undercoating. And uh, there's a sticker here saying, what does it say? August 84. So these fenders are 10 years younger than the car actually. So they've been replaced at some point. So they're new fenders. I don't think that the car has ever been driven with uh, these fenders. I don't know, 84, 14. Yeah, maybe they were on the car for a few years because the owner told me that the car sat for 30 years when we bought it. And uh, that means we bought it in 17. So from 87, it sat. So I guess it these fenders uh, depends when they were bought and when they were installed on the car but if they were made in 84 they spent very few uh, years if any on the car so they are in a good shape but still they need some repair for example there's a here there are two holes i guess that's for the front spoiler or whatever here you can see this is vent so they need some attention uh this one had actually lots of uh, undercoating on it so yesterday i uh, literally scraped it off and then i sanded the inside so it can be sprayed i only need to wipe it with uh, alcohol of course it's dusty now but that's gonna happen just before we spray it and uh, this channel here i sanded so we can paint it because we need to paint the inside of the fenders before we attach them to the car so that's what i'm gonna be doing today i'm gonna be dealing with the inside of the fenders and seam sealing so let's get started all right for seam sealing we're gonna use just regular seam joint sealer whatever we buy from our locker auto body supplier and uh, I don't know I have no idea exactly where factory puts uh, seam sealer so I'm just gonna use common sense and I'm gonna put whatever I think it should there should be so just common sense save the guy who starts right in the middle of the car <laughs> And we're gonna be doing just uh, small areas at a time because from experience I know that in warm temperatures this dries really fast so I'm gonna be doing one seam at a time and then I'll show you what I do with my finger that's what we do when we build limousines works just fine so I just use my finger as a tool and do this It looks fine to me. And it cleans off your fingers fast. I mean, it's not uh, like if you use polyurethane, if you get it on your fingers, you can never clean it up. It takes days before it gets clean. So this, I'm not worried about my fingers, about my hands, I'm gonna clean them at the end, no problem. 
Leave his heel like that. I hold his heel. Now, if it was an area where the look is important, I would mask it and make it look nice. But for here, I don't really care because as long as it does what it needs to do, the ceiling part, I don't care if it looks a little bit uneven or whatever. It's important that it's sealed that right? Less and it works better. Let me show you. Here I used a lot and it became it turned out a little bit like a mess, but here I, I used less and it worked just fine. So you get the idea that's what I'm doing, and I'll show you when I'm done or if something interesting happens. Right, so I think the interior, with few little exceptions, is done completely. Uh, everywhere, like there, there. Even I was gonna leave this for later when I flip it the other way around, but you know what? I did most of it. I did mostly everywhere. Like I still have to do there, for example. That, but that I'm gonna do when I flip it, and this entire thing I'm going to do when I flip it because it's pretty hard. I've done it here. This area here for me it's important because this is where it's leaking and it is uh, rusting inside out. This is you know a notorious area for the TR6s too and for that matter also the TR250 and 4s. This is a notorious area for rust so we try to keep it as dry as possible the the boot is done all over the place even the areas where it was upside down but i decided to do them and i think the boot is completely done but again we're gonna take a look at it when we flip it around and the engine bay as well the engine bay didn't need much it needs only here that little line I'm gonna do when I flip it, or maybe I can do it now, I don't know, we will see. And um, all, all the way here, down to the bottom, this little line here I've done already, and here. Uh, I decided not to do anything here, because this is a nice seam, and I don't think it's gonna look nice if I do seam sealer. I did a little bit there, but this I'm gonna do on the outside. So. It's gonna be seamed. So, anyways, never seen water coming in this way in TR6s, but you know, I'm gonna make sure that outside it's seam, it seam sealed well. And uh, that's it. So, now before we flip it, we're gonna go on the other side, on the outside, and we're gonna do like here. I want to do this for sure here. I want to make sure that no water goes because from the wheel, water is going to splash and it's going to go here. So that's how it trusts, right? So we're going to try and seal this nicely with seam sealer. Hopefully it's going to last for the next 50 years. We'll see how well it did when we restore it next time in 50 years. And uh, same here. This is what I'm talking about. We're going to seal it nicely here so water doesn't go in and here it's gonna need some seam sealing to over there I guess so yeah I'm gonna start doing this now of course here underneath we're gonna have to seam seal here here and all over the place here so yeah that's what I'm gonna start doing now. And now this stage is done as well. 
calcium seals here as far as we can go because you remember we had issues here remember this corner how much repairs it had i believe that it was if it was sealed well it wasn't gonna be so rotten you know because water went inside anyway so this is all seamed here here to i didn't do a good job i didn't care if it was if it looked good because this is all gonna be in between the fender and the body so i don't care as long as it seals here this is all sealed made sure that no water goes at the bottom of the the b post and even here there was a big gap between the, the body mount and the body here so i seem sealed that as well so water doesn't go there because this corner was rotten here and that wrote the floor inside i don't know if this is uh, gonna save it much but at least i can try you know so there this is sealed this seam is sealed and i put even here inside this seam because there was a little gap there between the two layers of metal and we're gonna do the same when we flip the body on the other side here as well like I know this leads to nothing the other side, but if there's a gap there, water goes in and stays there and makes a mess. So we'd better seal it. Probably there are many more areas like that, but I can go over the place, but at least uh, wherever I can see. So there, there, here, all over this arch and here and even here. Like there was a big, oh, here I missed. I'm gonna do this as well, because that's potential area where mud and stuff can get stuck and keeps and stays wet for days and days and days. So anyway, that's where we are at. Over there in the corner, I wanna see you, but my gun doesn't reach. You see, it reaches only up to there, so. I'm gonna do that at the end. I'm gonna see if I can make some extension for my uh, cocking gun. And we're gonna do that at the end, but I can do that when the car is on the other side, flip to the other side. So, okay, one more time now. Let's install these wings, flip the car, remove those, and do the same on the other side. <laughs> and voila, we're done with this side as well. Pretty much the same thing sealed here in the corner i even managed to seal there now i put some extension on my gun and uh same areas as on the other side here and uh all over the place here even there here and that's it inside let me show you inside this was my main concern here in this area but it is done now so i'm happy and everywhere else so seam ceiling done today's thursday and i was hoping that uh, i was gonna have the paint for tomorrow so tomorrow i could uh, spray the boot inside and the engine bay and the inside of the bonnet and the inside of the boot lid with the color the base color which was which is going to be the english white pure white whatever white that is but uh, my boss is having troubles finding the paint he's uh, talking to uh, our our normal uh, uh, auto motive paint and stuff supplier and they're having some difficulties there mixing the paint or whatever so it looks like i'm not gonna paint it tomorrow and uh if it stays over the weekend obviously it's gonna get dusty and stuff and probably i'm gonna have to sand it again before i spray it so i'm gonna leave it for now so i'm not sure what's gonna happen with the paint so for now we're, for now we're gonna leave it to the side and i'm gonna pull this table here now and I'm gonna keep working on my um, fenders, the inside of the fenders, because there I know I have to do the same thing. I have to clean them and 
spray them with uh, trim cloth white inside and then we're gonna see what's gonna be next.